today we're going to be checking out a lighting accessory that's a must have if you're sick of running wires through your firewall. And what I've got in front of me is the Trigger 4 Plus system. This includes everything that you need to get it wired up into your Jeep or off-road vehicle. Not have to run any wires inside the cab, but be able to control four accessories. So I'm going to show you guys how this installs on our two-door JL Wrangler, see if it's the right fit for you. Now this Trigger 4 Plus system is the updated version of the Trigger 4 wire system. It includes everything that you need for your off-road vehicle. It includes four 10-foot pre-wired leads that are going to go directly into an off-road accessory, something like a light, an air compressor, or something of that nature. Now the switches are controlled by a Bluetooth and RF control module. It includes with the kit with this new up and down switch, which actually shows you when the switch is turned on and off. You can manually turn them on through the box and you've got two 30 amp as well as two 15 amp fuses, meaning this is going to be a completely safe system. With the switches, they've actually included two sheets of stickers which are going to allow you to figure out which switch controls what and program it exactly to your needs, basically to do an on off or a momentary, you can control all that through your cell phone or the factory switch. So with that being said, let's get it on our 2018 JL, show you guys how to get it wired up. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we've got the hood popped and what you're gonna wanna do is find a nice location that's right by your battery. So our fuse box is right here and the cover is actually a pretty nice flat surface that we can get the control unit mounted onto. And the best part is it's right next to the battery so we can utilize that location to get our trigger control module hooked onto here and then right into the battery. That's the only thing you have to do outside. You don't have to run anything to the inside of the vehicle. You can simply hook it onto here, plug it in, and then we can start doing some wiring and show you how that trigger works. Kit includes a hook and loop setup. They're actually gonna 3M adhesive onto the back of the control module. Then I pulled off the backing of this other one and I'm gonna hook that to the top of the fuse box. This will give it a nice secure location and then if you wanna remove it, you can simply pull it off. Okay guys, we're actually gonna utilize this extra stud that the JL has by grabbing just an extra nut right here and tightening it down. Now we're gonna tighten this up. This one we use is a 13 millimeter socket. So the last wire to hook up is the yellow wire here. Now this is gonna be your trigger wire from the vehicle. You can either use a fuse if you've got a fuse tap or go under the dash, hook this up. That way you don't have constant power to this trigger module and you can't leave any switches on. Basically, as soon as the vehicle turns on, you have power and you can turn on whatever you have connected to it. In our case, we're gonna just hook this up to the positive just to show you how it works and make sure everything lights up. But you'd connect this to a keyed power source. This is gonna be a positive wire connected to a keyed power source. So just keep that in mind. Okay guys, now that we have the yellow wire just hooked up to the positive right now to show you this, definitely don't keep it like this. You're gonna want that to keyed power. You've got some nice connections on the end here. We can wire them up to whatever you need to, anything positive and negative. And then I'm gonna turn all these off and show you how the switch works as well on this. With all the power hooked up, we've got power that goes into our trigger module and obviously our switches will work now. So I'm pretty excited to show that with the Trigger 4 Plus, you actually get some solid feel switches which actually have a red indicator on the top to show you when the switch is engaged. So as you can see, I've got the first switch on and the blue light is illuminated in that first one showing that it is turned on. So I can turn that off either through here or through the remote control. Now there also is an app for Android and Apple where you can hook this all up to your phone. Do a lot of cool things on there like do momentary as well as flashing, set them up exactly how you want it, even name them. So, but just check it out guys, all four of them are working and they turn on and off actually really quick. So definitely a lot quicker than just a standard switch would. It's pretty basically instant on there. So pretty neat. This actually comes with a roll bar mount too. So this will wrap around a roll cage and you can have a magnetic point that'll just attach right to it. Now we've got four switches here which you can turn on and off from inside the cab. Use an app on your phone as well as buy the brackets separately to mount them up into your JL and JK Wrangler. We offer an overhead mount for the JL which is going to work for a four switch system as well as the new six switch system. So in the JK we also offer an A-pillar bracket to help you get these switches mounted up perfectly and in a more permanent location than just the magnet or just throwing it in your glove box. Now to find any of these trigger accessories we talked about today, be sure to check out cjponyparts.com if you don't want to deal with that hassle of running wiring.